sometimes when we have stage fright or we are very deeply shy or wounded in a place, like we don't make the best decisions for ourselves. We can't see mm-hmm. well, what's mm-hmm. going to rewound and what's going to actually create a healing response. Like we can't see that because we get trapped in a cycle of abuse. So <clears throat> basically, you know, the, the thing that really I feel like healed my stage fright in the last couple of years was healing codependency and mm-hmm. healing the deep, deep shame I had inside that I didn't even know I had yeah. and healing and releasing contracts of subjugating myself to abusive authorities. Wow. Yeah. And that actually was the, the thing that really shifted it. I was working with a trauma therapist and mm-hmm. we did this work, what's called um, coupling and uncoupling. Like when you have really heightened experiences as a, as a child or even as an adult, like if you have a, a really intensive relationship with a sibling, parent, or someone else where you're really deeply in love and you can't get out, mm-hmm. you know, like when, if you're with a parent or a sibling, like you got nowhere to go. You have to love these people. Even if you know mm-hmm. you're going to wake up the next day and get beaten, like wow. you are wired to love them. Mm-hmm. And so the brain actually takes these two experiences of abuse and love and fuses them together. Mm. And so then you find yourself in relationship after relationship where those were like, once you, you experience an abusive or controlling element, it's like your brain automatically goes into love. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And so when I work with the trauma therapist, we just just uncoupled them. We just, Mm -hmm. She just took it as like love could go over here and abuse could go over here. And then when that happened, it was like this deep, deep unwinding of feeling like I could be safe in my own love and my own self. Like, mm-hmm. my, it, like, I, like I could come out and fully be myself and I didn't have to attach myself to someone or something mm-hmm. that was going to make me hide who I was out of fear again. Exactly. Yeah. And so that happened. And all of a sudden I could stand on stage as it, like without any, any fear. Wow. 